in the following figure sites susceptible for crevice corrosion are so uh, before uh, continuing with this question we should know the theory and that is the types of the electrochemical corrosion we should know so if we discuss the types of electrochemical corrosion so there are three categories which we have to read one is going to be your galvanic corrosion the second one is going to be your stress corrosion and the third one is going to be your crevice corrosion now talking about the galvanic corrosion this type of corrosion is seen it occurs between the dissimilar metals in contact so when dissimilar metals are in contact this kind of corrosion is developed and for example if you are having an amalgam filling opposing a cast coal restoration then this galvanic kind of corrosion will be developed the second one is known as the stress corrosion now this stress corrosion is based on the fact that whenever there is a stress developed in a metal this uh, particular stressed metal surface becomes more reactive than the known stress surface and due to this reactivity the development of the corrosion occurs in the areas of stress and this kind of corrosion is known as the stress corrosion so basically the theory about it is whenever there is stress there is increased stress there will be increased reactivity and this reactivity will lead to more propensity for corrosion so there will be more corrosion then we have the crevice corrosion now the corrosion that occurs in cracks that occurs in crevice due to accumulation of plaque okay so the corrosion that occurs in crevice due to accumulation of plaque and due to accumulation of plaque there will be decrease in ph acidic environment and that will lead to a kind of corrosion that is known as the crevice corrosion now they have asked about the crevice corrosion and this particular crevice corrosion is easy to identify wherever you see the cracks wherever you see the crevices more and more plaque can retain there those areas will have the more propensity for uh, crevice corrosion right so if we just see this here so here yes this particular is going to be your crack that this crack or crevice would be between the normal tooth surface and the restoration the second crevice corrosion which we can see here can be developed here here you can see the crack the third one can be here okay between the restoration and teeth so wherever you can see the crevices the valleys the chances of the uh, basically the two boundaries of the tooth and the restoration there are chances of accumulation of plaque and that can lead to crevice corrosion so here three sites are there c then the second one is the e and the third one is d so that is how we can find out the crevice corrosion and in this particular figure it is only uh, practical to identify the crevice corrosion because local galvanic corrosion and the galvanic corrosion is not possible to identify here because they have not given the information about the uh, type of opposing metal right and here yes surface tarnish is something that is uh, more related to the stress corrosion we can say or the chemical uh, tarnish of the surface so there is something which we can understand now if we just see here yes the most objective thing which we can see here is the crevice corrosion so that is c here it will be d and here it will be e so c d e that is option 2 is going to be the correct answer here